You know when you just don't want to do anything and you know you need to do it? Welcome to Starts With Me, where ancient wisdom meets modern science. That is how I am feeling right now. And my mind is playing all kinds of tricks on me. It's asking me to do everything to avoid what I know I need to do. What I need to do right now is lie down, relax, breathe, feel the ground, and recenter. I am a little bit all over the place right now. I don't feel great, I'm tired, and I'm getting lost in anxiety, uh, thoughts of the future, thoughts of what I need to be doing that I'm not doing, and if I don't do it, then oh my God. So that's a form of catastrophizing, and when we think about the future and don't stay in the present, we start to get anxious. That's one of the main causes of anxiety. So what I'm doing today for my self-care is I'm going to do a body scan. Now a body scan is a form of meditation or a mindfulness practice and I'll put a bunch of information in the description and you can go see where I've learned this. I learned it from John Kabat-Zinn's mindfulness-based stress reduction. Uh, I was taught by someone in Toronto who uh, is a beautiful soul. I'll put her information in too. She's a medical doctor and it's covered by OHIP. So if you live in Toronto, I suggest you take advantage of that because she is a legend and she lets you keep going. So I've been doing it for quite a while and I keep going back when she lets me. Anyhow, so you know, we lie down and we focus on the breath and we bring our attention to different areas of the body in a systematic way. And for me, what that does is it really helps me ease into how I'm actually feeling. Because when I'm not present, I get lost in my thoughts and I'm not aware of really what's going on inside of me. And the body scan is really helpful for that. So, I don't wanna do it. I'm, my mind is, you should be doing this. You should be doing that. You're not good enough. Mike, you're not good enough if you don't do this and you're just a useless human being. That's how my voices go. So another benefit of the mindfulness practice is to say, okay, I hear you, but you're not my friend right now and I'm not gonna listen to you. So see you later. Other voice, another nice name for it is itty bitty shitty committee. We don't want them in control. So the mindfulness allows me to hear that to acknowledge it, to be aware, aware of it. And by returning to my breath, I can let it go. Or I can do my best to not allow it to ruin my day, my moment, whatever the case may be. Um, so I'm gonna lie down on my yoga mat, which I will try to show you here. Just gonna lie down, nothing fancy. Just lying down on the mat. I'm gonna lie down for about 45 minutes and uh, I know I will feel a lot better after. And hey, why don't I just check in after too? Bye. Please comment, like, subscribe, and share. Take it easy. Peace.